agents that reduce glucose levels in a new and different way. And these agents are grouped under the term incretins. In the incretins, they are themselves divided into two major groups. The first group is called DPP-4 inhibitors. And there are two of these available, for example, at the current time in Canada. These are called Genuvia, or Citagliptin, or Anglisa, or Saxagliptin. These agents, as I mentioned before, act in a different way than other oral agents. They have two actions. They're taken in pill form, and they act on hormones in the body to stimulate insulin production by the pancreas. And as you know, producing insulin lowers blood sugar. A second action, however, of these agents is to inhibit glucagon production. Now, in type 2 diabetes, you have an increase of glucagon constantly above normal levels. And glucagon stimulates your own liver to produce glucose. So by inhibiting glucagon, you lower glucose. Therefore, these pills act in two ways. They stimulate insulin production, lowering glucose in that way, and inhibiting glucagon production, and therefore lower glucose in that manner. Genuvia comes as a 100 milligram tablet and it's taken once a day. It is also comes as a premixed form with metformin and this is called Janumet. The Janumet pill comes in two forms. You may have been prescribed 50, Janumet with a 50 milligram Genuvia and a 500 milligram metformin. And that pill is taken once in the morning and once at night, or twice a day. It also comes in a different form, Janumet 50 1000, that is 50 milligrams of Genuvia and 1000 milligrams of metformin, giving you a total dose of two a day of, a of 2000 milligrams of metformin and 100 milligrams of Genuvia. The other agent, Anglisa, comes as a 5 milligram tablet and as a 2.5 milligram tablet. The latter is reserved for uh, smaller doses when you have patients who may have some renal impairment or kidney damage, and therefore you may want a smaller dose in that instance. So the Anglisa is taken as a 5 milligram tablet once a day. You may take it with a pill called metformin as well to reduce your blood sugar and to act more synergistically. That means it really acts better together to lower blood sugar. I should have point out another advantage of these pills. They do not cause hypoglycemia. However, if you take that pill not just with metformin but also with a sulfonylurea, then you can get hypoglycemia. So these are the DPP-4 inhibitors and their pills that are taken usually with metformin that serve to lower blood sugar, that don't cause hypoglycemia when taken with metformin, and as well, they don't produce weight gain. The other agent of the incretins that we want to talk about are the GLP-1 agonists. Now, these are medications that are taken by injection. They act in the same way but in a much stronger fashion than the DPP-4 agents. They stimulate insulin production and they inhibit glucagon production. Therefore, they lower the blood sugar. There are two forms of, uh, or two products in the GLP-1 market. One is called Bietta. Bietta, which is not currently available in Canada, but is available in the United States, its other name is Exenatide. Bietta comes as an injection that's taken as a five microgram injection twice a day for the first two to three weeks. After two to three weeks, the dose is increased to 10 micrograms twice a day. And that's because 
these agents do produce some nausea and sometimes even vomiting when first started. Therefore, it's better to start at a smaller dose and then increase to the full dose. Bieta or exenatide also comes in a long-acting variety which is still under investigation. This is called bidurion. Bidurion comes as a two milligram dose, but it's only taken once a whole week, once in a week. And this agent, again, lowers blood sugar very impressively, does not cause hypoglycemia, unless combined with an agent such as a sulfonylurea, and produces very significant weight loss. It isn't just weight neutral, it actually produces weight loss in a slow and steady fashion and continuous fashion. Now, this is not a, a tremendous amount of weight loss. It's not 10 or 20 pounds. It's usually in the range of 5 to 8 pounds over time. But it's very effective. So just to review, we have uh, bidurian, we have bieta, and we have victosa. Victosa, or liraglutide, is available in Canada. It is a GLP-1 agonist that is taken by injection, just as bieta is, and it's taken as a 0.6 milligram dose to start because of the incidence of nausea or vomiting, which we want to reduce. And after two to three weeks, you increase the dose to 1.2 milligrams, again taken once a day. This agent is very effective, and in some cases where you want to try to increase the effectiveness even a little more, you can try to increase the dose to 1.8 milligrams per day. It's always given by a pen or a, an injection device that looks like a fountain pen as we use in giving insulin, and it's very easy to administer with very minimal pain. So this agent does three things. It doesn't cause hypoglycemia, it lowers your blood sugar, and it produces weight loss. These agents are very effective and they will be a very useful additional agent to use in the fight against high blood sugars. So in summary, the Incretins Act by stimulating insulin production, reducing glucagon production, and therefore lowering the blood sugar, they work very effectively, more effectively than uh, either agent alone when used with metformin and they don't cause hypoglycemia when used alone or with metformin. They do cause hypoglycemia on occasion if you're using them with a sulfonylurea.